On FaceTime right now, it is Coldplay's Chris Martin. Hello, thank you so much for your time, Chris. Hi, Will. Thank you for your time. Let's uh, talk about Orphans and how did this beautiful piece of music come about for you guys? Um, well, like everybody, I'm sure, who's watched the news and everything, I was just thinking about all these kids that get displaced. Like, that could be any of us. And then they're labelled as refugees or migrants or other always labelled as other, and I was like, but they're just, a lot of them just young people who would just want to get on with it, like we would be if we had to leave our homes. So that, that's been brewing in my and our head for a while. And then one day that song just sort of popped through. And I always like singing about getting drunk because I don't drink. Right. <laughs> so I have a very mythical view of it of like, oh, it must be so fun and everything. So that's how it came about, Will. Is all your albums in the past have had like a loose theme, a vibe about them? What 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 is it with this? Because it's sunrise, isn't it, and sunset? Yeah, it's all based upon trying to get One Direction back together. I'm here for this. Yeah. <laughs> whole, whole, every song. Well, there's always a hidden meaning behind these albums, and now I don't, I that's, know. that's the best one yet. Well, it worked with Take That. We did it ten years ago. Whatever. And that was... Oh, really? We missed that yeah. one? Okay. So yeah. uh, what, what first two albums. So how badly do you want Wondy to get back together then? I mean, as badly as they do. I, I like <laughs> bands a lot. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just love being in a band because I, there's something about the, some of, the, some, the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. You know, that's, that's really what we have, but you've got to let everyone do what they want to do, I suppose. I think one day it will happen. They'll hear the album and they'll go... Let's think about this for like you know 10 years what? time. You know what? He's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that your son Moses is on this track. Yeah. We need to listen out for it. What, what are we listening out for with Moses here? <clears throat> well, if, I don't know if you, some people might have seen there's a video we made for it, and in that is what it is. When the song arrived uh, a few months ago, I was, I, I was with him after school and I said, hey, son, do you hear? Because I hadn't yet shown the idea to Will, our drummer. So I wanted to put a demo, like something, something on the rhythm track of right. the demo, to show Will, but he he changed it all anyway, as he, that's his job. So I said, "Hey, son, will you do one of your?" He like, does beatbox and stuff. So I said, "Will you come up with a pattern?" And he started saying, "Yeah, it should be um, boom boom ka boom boom ka boom 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 ka boom boom ka." So I recorded it, and then we just used that, wow. and then Will played drums under that. What title does he get for that? Is it an executive producer or anything like that? He gets a writing, writing <laughs> credit. Nice. Yeah. And is that so, his... he, so, he just, so he just bought a Porsche. <laughs> no, are you serious? No, I'm, just, no, I'm not <laughs> serious. He's, say... he's 13. <laughs> oh, I know, but still, you know, the money must be great for something like that. Is there any other uh, features that he's had in the past that we've not known about? Um, no, uh, him and some, sometimes I ask... Uh, whoever's around to sing on things. And so they've sung on some other songs. Um, but this was this was a, a different step. Yeah. So cool for 30 or 12 to say as well. Even, albeit you're his dad, but I'm sure that's still cool yeah, for him. Yeah, it's not very cool for him. Do you but, not think? But also, like, I'm sure you've heard this from other people with kids. I, I learned a lot about music from them and what they're listening to and what they, what, what translates to their hearts when they don't know anything about the context of who somebody is, they just listen purely to the song. Yeah, they gravitate towards it. And there's obviously a reason behind that. They just don't know it yet. Have you seen that video of Lil Nas X doing Old Town Road in a kindergarten? Yeah, they went crazy. Yeah, yeah. and that to me is like, that's what music is all about. It doesn't matter what just kind of pure, song it is. Pure, it is. Yeah, just pure, like, everyone's just into it and they don't yeah. have to worry about it. Well, that's what we get with your live shows. I was at the... Oh, God, how many years ago is it now? 20... I want to say 2017 or 2016, it must have been, when you did Wembley, yeah. you know, I had the wristbands. And it was, yeah. without a doubt, the most incredible gig I have ever been to in my life. The, that live show was incredible. It was the day before I started a brand new job, and it was just a, this life-affirming moment for me to be, albeit right at the heavens of this Wembley gig, but it felt incredible. I remember you, I remember you. Yeah, you, you would have seen me. I was, I was, that was the one waving, Chris. I'm not sure if you <laughs> remember that one. I want to know if you've got any live shows coming up next year because I need it in my life. I need that feeling again, watching Coldplay live. Uh, that is a question I don't know how to answer, Will. <laughs> I'm okay? Gonna, I'm going to take it as a yes then, if that's all right. 
I I would just take it as whatever you want to take it as, but but I promise that we want to play live at some point in the future history of the world. Okay, I'm going to remain hopeful <laughs> with that. And, and finally, it's, it, you've been celebrating 20 years of your first since your first single. Do you still get as excited these days releasing new music, hearing it in the charts? You said you weren't expecting Orphans to to be played on the radio. You must still get a thrill from it then. Uh, I, I live for it, you know. I, I, I love what we do with every, everything else in my life comes from it. My, even my even my kids, I guess, in a way. Yeah. Well, there's no way that I would have... Yeah, I, just, I forget I want an interview. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everything in my life comes from the band. So, and I just love music more and more and more. And I think that the places music takes you and, and the the way music can bring people from thousands of miles away to the same place or have the same emotion is, is all is all the more powerful now for me. Oh, mate, what an answer. Officially the UK's biggest chart show. The official Big Top 40.